We've been at war 10 years in Afghanistan and in Iraq. The number of Americans who've given their lives comes to 6,278. We asked Byron Pitts to introduce us to one of these Americans and follow him on his final journey home. I caught something out of the corner of my eye. And when I looked up, there they were. Two men in uniform, and you knew. I knew when I seen them, they were there to tell me that my husband had been killed. Sharina Prince's husband was 28-year-old Sergeant Michael Prince of the Oklahoma National Guard, a family man, a local policeman who joined the Guard 11 years ago. He died in Afghanistan three weeks ago. Never in my 27 years of life would I ever thought that I would have been a widow. A rocket-propelled grenade took his life and changed hers. I understand you collapsed. I hit my knees. Then what happened? They came in and shattered my world. It's bitter news the military delivers the same way each time. A service member of equal or higher rank and a chaplain show up in uniform. There have been 12 such notifications in Sergeant Prince's unit since July. And that's how it begins, what the military calls the dignified transfer. From the battlefield in Afghanistan, to Dover Air Base, to Sergeant Prince's home state of Oklahoma. A service member stood by his side, part of the soldier's creed, leave no man behind. Oh my God! CBS News was granted rare access to this military tradition with the permission of Sergeant Prince's widow. When the sergeant's remains arrived at the Oklahoma City Airport, his wife, his family, and close friends were waiting. There was grief and pride in equal measure. What did you say to your husband today when you were at the, the airport? It's like you two were talking for a while. <laughs> that I just loved him. He was my best friend. And that I was sorry that those cowards did to him what they did. And that there was nothing that I could do to make him better. Neighbors couldn't make it better either, but thousands tried. For 38 and a half miles, Sergeant Prince's body was transferred to his hometown of Minko. Oklahomans lined the highway, back roads, small towns. School was let out early, businesses closed. For nearly an hour, friends, neighbors, strangers stood still. To see people that I've never met, never seen a day in my life, cry for the life of my husband because he was lost, and died for their freedom made me feel really proud. Such a, a personal hurt like this. Um, wh wh why talk to us? Because I think it's important that people know what goes on after the knock at the door. The dignified transfer ends with the funeral. Ma am. Ma am. A purple heart for the warrior's widow and hearts broken for their loved ones left behind. It is my distinct honor and privilege to present this flag on behalf of the President of the United States, the Secretary of the Army, and the people of a grateful nation. What do you want America to know about your husband? That he's a hero. And not the last one. Within hours of Sergeant Michael Prince's burial, before the sun would set over his grave, another member of his National Guard unit was killed in Afghanistan. Byron Pitts, CBS News, Minko, Oklahoma.